I have to say that a reality check is this Bills team is not quite as good as the team that we had at the end of last season. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 54 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. And this channel is going to document every single day leading up to that amazing moment with a video. Thank you to everyone that has come on board this Super Bowl train over the past 11 months. It is really humbling to see how many people have subscribed. And we almost have 2,000 subscribers. I mean, what? This guy in his basement has almost got 2,000 subscribers. I do want to make it clear, though. You only subscribe if you know the Bills are winning Super Bowl 57. That's the prerequisite. You have to know it. If you don't know it and feel it in your bones, that's okay. You're scared, and that's fine. There's plenty of other YouTube channels where scared people go. This is only for those who know the Bills are going to win the Super Bowl. And I've got another one for you. Since we've got a lot of fans from other teams jumping on here every once in a while, if you love your football team, no matter who they are, then subscribe to this channel. Just subscribe. Don't worry, I'm not going to be coming to your door and ringing your doorbell to say, hey, watch my video. In fact, if you subscribe, you'll probably never hear from me again. It just kind of makes us content creators happy. That's it. Just do it. Just boop. Subscribe. Okay, very good. Buffalo Bills, football. I just wanted to give a quick take on where the Bills are right now. Kind of like what we're looking at, a reality check, a state of the Bills. As we head down the stretch of the regular season, three more games to go. Last season, down the stretch, Buffalo's offense became almost unstoppable. In fact, Against the Patriots and the Chiefs, they were unstoppable. The only thing that stopped the Bills against the Chiefs, of course, was themselves with a coaching staff that didn't know how to coach for 13 seconds. This season, suddenly, our offense, although it looked pretty good on Saturday night for the most part, has been having their challenges. And it's made all of us Bills fans a little nervous. I get it. Last season, our defense was pretty solid all, all year long. It, they had their moments. Overall, the defense was really good last year, mostly because of the back end, Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde. This season, we lost Hyde early. That's made a gigantic difference in Buffalo's ability to clamp down on teams at specific times. They've, there's some big, there's a, been teams that have pulled off some big plays against us, and it's because Micah Hyde isn't there. But then we, of course, had Von Miller, and Von Miller is compensating big time for the for the loss of Micah Hyde. But of course, can't be a Bills fan and have your cake and eat it too, so Vlad Miller had to get hurt. He had to just barely step in the wrong direction and have a guy kind of lean in the wrong way against his leg and pop his ACL. Had to happen. Got it. But where does that leave us? As a team, a reality check. For real, okay? When we started the season, we were blowing teams out. I mean, we blew the Rams out with four turnovers. We blew the Rams out. Then we absolutely dismantled the Titans. And it was apparent to all of us that we had perhaps one of the best football teams ever to play the game in the NFL. I mean, we were thinking about an undefeated season. And then the avalanche of injuries started happening and went into Miami and still almost overcame all the injuries and everything else that we faced in Miami, but lost. And Josh Allen actually started kind of chucking some weird passes and kind of making some bad decisions from that third game on through, I don't know, game nine. And even though they were not playing that well and dealing with a lot of injuries and were missing key players, we hadn't lost Von Miller yet, Buffalo was still in all these games, and it was only, for the most part, mistakes that the Bills made that cost the Bills a couple W's in the Meadowlands against the Jets, and especially against the Vikings, where we're leading 27 to 10 with about a minute to go in the third quarter, and then just things unravel. 
And even with the Bills' mistakes, the Vikings still needed some miracle plays to pull that out. I mean, Minnesota's been living right. They have had a few miracles now. That epic comeback that they just had. What am I getting at? I'm getting at this. Now that Von Miller's out, we don't have Micah Hyde, and we are definitely lacking some talent on the back end, specifically, of our defense. And our offense, for the most part, has been struggling. We have Cole Beasley back, and that might make a difference. I think that could... I think Cole Beasley could be the X factor. But they are not the offense that they were last season. I have to say that a reality check is this Bills team is not quite as good as the team that we had at the end of last season. That's kind of scary. We say to ourselves, well, shoot. If they're not as good as the team that lost in the playoffs last season, then how are we going to pull this one out this season? Now, there's a few things going for the Bills when it comes to the overall makeup of this team. Number one, first and foremost, experience. They've been there. They now know what it takes. It takes having coaches that know how to coach 13 seconds, but they've been battle tested. That's number one. So that's gonna make a difference. The fact that Josh Allen has been there, done that, helps on the offensive side of the ball. On the defensive side of the ball, experience. And the elevated play of Matt Milano, which how could that even be possible from last season for Matt to play better this season? But he has. Had a tough game against the Dolphins, but overall, I think he's injured, but Matt Milano. Tremaine Edmonds. I've been kind of happy with Tremaine Edmonds lately. Thankfully, I think we all are. So I think that dude might, something might have clicked with him. I'm not sure. Jordan Poyer, still Jordan Poyer. Damar Hamlin, he's the weak link on the defense. That scares me. But Trey White is back. Hopefully, hopefully Carrier Elam can find his game. But our defensive front, I think, is better than what we had last season. So the defense, though maybe not as good as last season, they're pretty close. In fact, it's very debatable. The offense, though, maybe not as talented as they were at the end of last season, still very good. And the experience helps compensate for that. That, that may be that small drop-off in the offense. Here is what is going to make the difference and why the Bills are going to win the Super Bowl. And it is something called the number one seed. Buffalo is going to win the number one seed, and that is going to make all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world. When we're playing playoff games at home, and only two of them, the path to the Super Bowl is that much easier. And I know what you're saying. Hey, we could lose to the Bengals and the Chiefs could win out and then we're playing Kansas City again. No, no, first of all, Buffalo will beat the Bengals. Even if they don't, even if they have one of those games, somehow, some way, and we lose to the Bengals, the Chiefs are losing again. They almost lost in overtime to the Texans. The Chiefs are going to lose again. And finally, breaks. The bounce of the ball. Trust me, we are long overdue for some nice breaks along the way in this journey. So to wrap it up, are the Buffalo Bills as good as the team was at the end of last season? I'm going to say no. In, in terms of maybe talent at certain positions. But overall experience and where they have positioned themselves this season, they are better off than they were last season. That's my take. I want to know what you guys think. Are you satisfied where we are? Do you think there's still room for improvement with three games to go? I want to know what you think, so comment below. See you tomorrow.